Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Wednesday the 26th of February, the local media headlines today. Now, don't panic. No, really, don't panic. A whole bunch of students and their teachers have just returned to Cornwall from a part of the world where they've got coronavirus. Technically, we've had coronavirus in the UK for a couple of months already, but the ski resorts of northern Italy are now exporting potential new cases in all directions. And so despite any evidence that anyone from Cornwall has actually come into contact with a carrier, the government is telling those who might have to stay at home until the panic dies down. Cornwall reports also covered County Hall's vote to put up council tax bills. There's news of a council by-election following the decision of newly elected MP Sherilyn McCrory to vacate her County Hall seat. There's to be a fortnight's festival of all things Cornish at St Just, but not until September next year. And the Beehive pub in Helston might have a battle on its hands to save its licence, following complaints of rowdyism. Now, just going back to coronavirus, Pirate FM was among the media to tell us that a different kind of panic was responsible for closing a Saltash GP's surgery, albeit for less than an hour, on Monday. It seems that someone who it turns out had tested negative for the virus had been in the doctor's surgery's waiting room, so they had to deep clean it just to be sure. The Falmouth packet showed us what happens if you offer fish and chips for only £2.75. The Cornish Times warns that one of the Torpoint ferries is having its chains replaced. And finally, there's no business like snow business to fill the web pages at Cornwall Live. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.